on YouTube, it's Pete TT coming at you with another division video. Today guys, I bring you the first review of a named high-end gear piece. This video will focus on Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask. So first, let's answer that burning question. <laughs> burning question, see what I did there guys? Where does the mask drop then? Well, if you want Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask, then you will need to run Napalm Production Site in World Tier 5 on hard difficulty. Failing that, if you don't want to go on the same mission over and over and over and over and over again, you can hope to get lucky in opening up some field proficiency or survival caches. Now then, the next burning question. <laughs> ba -dum -bum. See, I did it again guys, and god I am getting good at this, right? What special talent is on the mask? So, the talent reads, user can run and shoot their weapon while burning. Let's now take a look at that in action guys. First up, we have no mask equipped and the deployment of an incendiary grenade. As you can see, when we try to walk through the flames, we get the burning status effect and cannot do a single thing until it has finished. Now let's look at Pharaoh's oxygen mask in action. As you can see, when the incendiary grenade has been set off, we are freely able to walk straight through it and keep shooting. While yes the burning status effect still remains, at least you're able to function and defend yourself if needed. Now then, let's try and place it into a set where it can be usable. I think the most obvious gear set this can be used to great effect with will be the Firecrest build. As a build that has been totally designed around flames, this mask will be very useful. I mean, come on guys, who can honestly raise their hand and say they have used the Firecrest build and not at least once accidentally set themselves on fire? I, I know I can't do it. Where else then can I see this piece being used? Well. In an all high-end build, you might as well use it. I don't believe there are too many masks in-game with talents I would openly search for to use in a high-end build, so, you know, why not use a mask that takes away an element of both PvP and PvE NPC crowd control? Overall guys, this mask does indeed have its uses. When we look at the possible recalibration, you will also see that it has the possibility to roll all of the same stats you can get on any gear piece. So again, why not run this piece? If you have one and have room for it in your build, you know, it's a good thing. I think the mask is probably worthy of about a 7 out of 10, you know, it's not quite as good as it could have been, but it's nice to see Massive being creative and I look forward to new additions in the future. Now then, let's quickly talk about the potential builds I am making and will hopefully be able to showcase you guys soon that will include this mask. Up first, like I said earlier, I plan on creating a Firecrest DPS build. Next, I plan on a four-piece final measure, two-piece high-end build that will also include this mask. And to be honest, guys, I will probably try this on a PvB build too, just to see how good it's going to function in the dark zone. So, yeah, stay tuned for some later videos on this. So, for now then, agents, let me know what you think about the Ferris mask in the comment section down below. Drop a thumbs up only if you see fit. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because there are plenty more Division videos coming your way. And as always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you all soon. Thank you.